When you're first implementing new marketing software, such as HubSpot or Pardot or um, even MailChimp, you know, Campaign Monitor, some uh, whether it's marketing automation or an email sending program, one of the first questions you'll have is, does it integrate with my CRM? CRM being Salesforce, um, NetSuite, Microsoft Dynamics, Zoho CRM. So that's the big question. And in this video, I'm specifically specifically going to answer those questions in regards to HubSpot. <coughs> so what CRMs integrate with HubSpot? And I'm also going to answer the question, um, how can you integrate your CRM with HubSpot? Even though I'm focusing on HubSpot because that's the video series I'm doing here, um, this applies to other CRMs, or sorry, other marketing automation suites. So if you're using HubSpot or Pardot, you know, or for other marketing tools like I mentioned, MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, um, Eye Contact, <coughs> it's very broad because Zapier, the integration tool we'll be discussing, ties into all of these tools. And so even though I'm showing you things that apply specifically to HubSpot, this video will be helpful if you're using other tools because it will help you get an idea of how and what you can integrate with your marketing tool. So let's jump into it. So HubSpot, if you look at their integrations page, they specifically list out nine different CRMs that they integrate with. They've got two native integrations, Salesforce and Sidekick. Salesforce because it's such a huge player in the space and Sidekick because HubSpot owns them. So these are both native. If you go to HubSpot, they've got very, very uh, well written, well laid out plans that show you how to do that implementation. It's, uh, <coughs> it's point and click, but <coughs> there's lots of steps. And so it walks you through that. These other ones um, are semi, what I, what I consider semi-native. Semi-native because HubSpot considers them a good enough integration that they're going to list them. Um, even though there's beyond these nine, there's a do dozen other CRMs out there that are very good. So um, we have got a couple that are paid integrations. So Sugar CRM, NetSuite, and Microsoft Dynamics. These three all have an integration with a third party that charges you for the integration. The charge to use that integration is around $150 a month. Um, and then you've got these two down here, Membrane and Relate IQ. These are semi-native in that um, these integrations are built by the companies themselves. So Relate IQ and Membrane built their own CRM integrations into HubSpot. So this is the ideal scenario, honestly. You've got, as long as these companies are good and they're actively uh, supporting their software and their user base, <coughs> then I think this is the best scenario. Hey, let's have them integrate their own tool. However, a lot of companies are small, they're nimble, they're up and coming, such as Pipedrive and Base, and they want to integrate with tools like HubSpot, but they also want to integrate with MailChimp. They want to integrate with uh, Campaign Monitor, Eye Contact, um, Pardot. They want to integrate with everybody. And so they, because they're small and nimble, they're quickly developing their product, but they don't have a lot of time to spend on the integrations. So this is where Zapier comes in. All of these, including Salesforce and Sidekick, have Zapier integrations. <coughs> Membrane and Relay IQ do not. It would be very easy for these companies to integrate with Zapier, but I think they have got their own little integrations that they feel like are working well, and so they're going to um, keep pushing that, which is hey, great for them as long as they can support it. So all of these other CRMs in here use Zapier. Zapier is a free tool, um, in most cases free. Sometimes you need to pay $50 a month if you want to integrate some particular premium tools into it. So all of these have Zapier integrations. Uh, Microsoft Dynamics has a Zapier integration that's coming. It's currently in development as of October 2015. Um, but where it's coming, Zapier is pretty good at rolling them out quickly. So by the time you watch this video, uh, the integration 
for Microsoft Dynamics on Zapier's engine may already be done. So how Zapier works is you sign up for an account there. You've already got your CRM account. You've already got your HubSpot account. And the integration is very simple. What you'll do is you'll say, <coughs> um, you'll open up the, the Zapier account and you will set up what is called a new Zap. A Zap is like a program that handles the data flow. And you will say, when X happens in Salesforce, for example, a new record is created, do Y in HubSpot. So uh, the, the Y in HubSpot would be set up this contact in HubSpot too. And then you can do it the other way. So when this activity in HubSpot happens, do this activity in Salesforce. So you can do it back and forth through Zapier. It's a nice, clean integration. It's relatively quick. Uh, setting up a CRM will take you one to two hours. Uh, if you can plug along through it versus having to plug into Pipedrive's API or Base's API directly into HubSpot. That's what I helped one of my clients do um, before I before, before Zapier had many integrations and before I knew about it. I helped a, a client do a direct integration into the API and it took about six weeks to launch the integration just because they were reliant on a development team that was very busy. So. Um, skip the development team, try it out with Zapier first, it takes just a couple hours and it opens a whole world of options. You'll see here that um, you've got Highrise, Capsule CRM, Agile CRM, Pipedrive, Nutshell, Nimble, Sugar, Zoho, Base, Salesforce, and several others in Zapier. These are the big, uh, the bigger, more uh, better established brands in the CRM space and so these are ones that I've put on the slide but there's others there too and so <clears throat> if you have a question as to whether or not your CRM is integrated please just leave a comment in the in the video and I'll check or you can head over to Zapier's website zapier.com Z-A-P-I-E-R and check it out there as well thank you